My name is Josh Grisdale. I've lived in Japan for 11 years now. I'm originally from a small town called Uxbridge, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. And uh, yeah, I work in uh, Tokyo and I do sort of web stuff and uh, IT things. But uh, in the spare time, I uh, do a program called uh, Accessible Japan. It's a website that it, uh, explains accessibility in Japan for people who want to come and visit this country. So I have a lot of information on tourist locations, hotels, as well as just sort of general information uh, about how things work in Japan for riding the trains or um, some vital words you should know if you have a disability. So I've got all those kind of things on the website as well as going around to um, you know, talk at different locations throughout Japan about the importance of accessible travel and uh, you know, why uh, places should improve accessibility and uh, how they can welcome people with disabilities from other countries. So it was thanks to uh, the Canadian education system that I had uh, developed an interest in Japan. In high school actually, um, in the middle of rural Ontario, we had a Japanese class offered in my high school. And I thought, well, that'd be an interesting class to take. Uh, for maybe a future in IT that, you know, to speak Japanese would be a, a real benefit. So I took that class and my teacher, who's actually not Japanese, but he lived in Japan for a number of years and learned Japanese. And he really loved Japan and that sort of rubbed off on me. And I thought maybe, well, one day I'd like to go visit. So after I finished high school, I came over with my father and we spent some time in Tokyo. And I think, you know, really important uh, time in my life because I was learning about independence. I'd always lived at home, so uh, going out and exploring someplace new was really important to me. Um, and that sort of gave me a lot of uh, confidence for when I went back to Canada. I went to university and sort of started me on an adventure of uh, exploring. And I came back a number of times uh, on vacations as well, was a university student. And I thought, you know, maybe I want to try living there for a while and see what it's like. So that's how I came to Japan a number of years ago. So I feel that Japan is actually quite an accessible country, but there's just not much information on it. Um, so I was quite surprised when I came here. Um, I think there's different aspects that both countries have as strengths and weaknesses maybe. Uh, Japan is very good for infrastructure. So getting around on the trains and the buses um, is very easy, um, as well as the accessible toilets um, are very easy to use and they're very plentiful. Um, I think that Canada is really strong in terms of uh, social improvement, um, integrating people into all different parts of life. Um, for example, it's much easier to find a job uh, if you have a disability in Canada and to participate in society. So I think both countries can quite learn a lot from each other. And I think the, in the next couple of years that uh, if both the countries could work together, that would be an incredible future for both countries.